Hi folks, it's a concerned Dr. Meskoff and it is April 29th, 2020, about 6.15 p.m. I'm vlogging from my kitchen here in Tom's River on, of course, COVID-19. And uh, slightly upset, I uh, just got my uh, Quest app here and when I looked at results for the SARS-CoV-2 antibody, I click on there and you can see that I am in fact uh, negative for SARS-CoV-2. Keep that there for a second. And it does give you more information uh, under the test. It explains that a false positive could occur. It doesn't give statistics, um, but uh, non-SARS-CoV-2 strains uh, such as the HKU1, NL63, OC43, and 229E versions that if you were, you know, exposed and actually had that, those infections that you could potentially be positive uh, for um, on the IgG antibody test. Now remember there are different types of tests, right? There is the uh, RNA swab or sputum or spit test. Um, uh, that's uh, done in a rapid form and also a send out that takes longer. Uh, these are polymerase chain reactions, again, looking for that core RNA of the actual coronavirus, uh, the SARS-CoV-2. And, and, you know, when they talk about getting people back to work and doing testing, I, I believe they're mostly referring to the, that type of testing where you're actually making sure these patients don't have uh, viral load or, 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 you know, either asymptomatic carriers. Um, or um, are acutely infected. But what about the antibody test that I had done yesterday, which is now negative? I have mixed feelings about it. In one sense, I'm disappointed. I'm a little bit pissed that, you know, um, it's, it's negative, but I'm also grateful on the other side that I haven't been infected with it. Uh, there are people, people that I know, uh, nurses, uh, docs, patients, that are complaining of already some chronic symptoms. Uh, potentially, although it really hasn't been long enough to truly call things chronic, but loss of sense of smell and taste. Um, you know, what was it, a direct viral injury to those mucosa? Is there, was there something more on the, the hemorrhage? Uh, again, the microemboli side uh, that could be affecting these different areas. Uh, so time will tell. But, you know, uh, in one sense, I'm, I'm a little bit upset and disappointed that I'm not positive, really thinking with, you know, high exposure in the office and to December, January, February, and even into early March, uh, people coughing, you know, 20, 30 percent of these being sick patients I'm seeing at the time, and I was doing my own swabs for the non-novel coronavirus and, you know, 20 or so other viruses and bacteria, people coughing everywhere. We did not have protection on in December and January, uh, maybe towards the end of February, we, we started getting masks, but it was really March that, you know, things really hit. Uh, again, I'm grateful I didn't have the antibodies. Uh, I, I trust that it's not a false negative. It's supposed to be a very low rate, but I do plan on getting retested in uh, the next four to eight weeks, probably at LabCorp, uh, depending on who else is doing it, but I know they're doing the triple. Remember, the IgG uh, is what I had done. That means you uh, had the infection over 10 or 14 days ago. The IgM would be an antibody that would go up sooner uh, after the initial insult or infection. Um, so you may see the IgM in a few days. Uh, so if you were to have this test done and the IgG was negative, but the IgM was positive, you should be concerned that you're potentially acutely infected and you, you may just be asymptomatic, but at least you'd have a jump on it. So, um, you know, the next time I, I go, I will have it done for that because it, there may be a way of picking off early carriers or uh, even as, uh, asymptomatic patients. If you're going for the antibodies, you really should be asymptomatic for about two weeks or so. Um, uh, and then LabCorp has also added the IgA. Uh, so getting people back to work, opening the economy, they'll probably swab people. Uh, uh, and if they're negative, then you can get everybody back in an environment with PPE on of some sort, um, uh, a mask. Uh, and if everybody's negative acutely, then they're wearing masks, hopefully, or at least theoretically, the work for, uh, space should stay clean of the virus, especially as we get later into the uh, summer months. Uh, is this going to come back? Uh, that's another debate. Uh, I'm hopeful that, you know, it, it will disappear. Like SARS-1 and MERS, um, the Middle Eastern virus or, or variant, um, you know, we're not seeing that uh, in any type of uh, uh, form right now. And so maybe, just maybe, it will disappear. But uh, the epidemiologists, the uh, others are, are suggesting that we're going to see it again. Um, organizations are stating that we may see it again in uh, the fall or the winter. Um, and that's why, uh, you know, 
uh, quote, an, an annual vaccine may be needed. Uh, we don't know yet, and, and still I'm going to stay optimistic that this may not come back, or if it comes back, it comes back in a less virulent form, uh, one that we can make a vaccine for. I mean, look at HIV disease. This has been around uh, for a long time now, and, and it was a death sentence, and now patients are living, you know, full life, uh, full lifespans in, in many cases. Look at Magic uh, Johnson, you know, a perfect example of where the medicines actually did work uh, without a vaccine ever being developed. Um, I'm still hopeful that we can have an antiviral that you give outpatients immediately within the first day or two of symptoms. Uh, of course, remdesivir being IV, it's a little tricky. Can they make an oral form and an injectable sub-Q? Uh, or when you get a symptom, you get tested right away and you're immediately triaged to an infusion center to get it if they can't uh, figure out a way uh, to get that in a different form. And, you know, the studies need to be looked at in those original uh, patients who develop symptoms immediately, I should say. So again, mixed feelings about the antibody test, different than the RNA test, which is the swab. Uh, you know, they don't discuss that enough uh, when I listen to the uh, oh, very interesting news channels and I, I see how it's getting politicized and it's almost disgusting at times to watch uh, both, both sides of it uh, playing the game. Uh, so I try not to watch that stuff. But when, when I want to see, you know, how much real medical information they're providing, which often is... is is quite good at times and quite bad at others. Um, you know, these are not things that they're differentiating because there's not a lot of time to differentiate um, and, and what they're, they're just talking about testing in general. Uh, there may be a role for both types of testing with doing the swab to make sure you're not acutely infected, maybe doing the IgM and IgG uh, uh, also could have some role. Uh, I believe the healthcare providers or frontliners, it was supposed to be covered under the act um, where they can get the, uh, you know, this type of lab core quest um, type of thing. I went to an urgent care where they did ch charge a copay for that urgent care visit, but uh, most should, uh, at least providers should be able to go to lab core and it, they shouldn't have to pay, but don't quote me on that. Um, you know, why am I IgG negative? Uh, have a lot of exposure, uh, frontline, I've been definitely exposed to patients that were not thought to be of interest initially. Um, I have a mask on, but, you know, uh, I remember one patient a couple weeks ago uh, had a BiPAP or one of these mask type ventilator setups and uh, we did not think initially that that patient was positive. Uh, I did have a mask on but then found out a couple hours later that he was positive. Um, of course, I've made it past that 14 day incubation period and I am IgG negative so that patient didn't get, didn't get to me at least as far as the coronavirus at this point in time. But, you know, is it really just that I'm obsessively wearing my N95 eight hours a day and uh, you know, I, I, I don't even take it off. I, I try and eat a good breakfast and then work the entire day with the mask on and also a face shield. Most aren't taking those extreme measures. I feel like, um, you know, I want to be as protected as possible. It, apparently, you know, at least as far as the test goes, it has been effective. Or is it that our immune systems are reacting differently to it? Could my immune system, I'm, you know, beefed up on a lot of uh, supplements um, and, and, and other things that we've talked about in other vlogs. Could we be having micro exposure, but just the immune system is able to fight it off? The test, I guess, theoretically could be a false negative, and I, I, that's why I do plan on going back again for uh, an alternative uh, IgG testing lab, uh, LabCorp, or, or whoever's giving it with the IgG and M together. Um, uh, so, you know, is it is it just the test? I, I don't think so. Um, so these are all questions we have. If I was positive. What would that matter? I mean, would it really make a difference? Could it be a false positive? I would still have to be careful, of course, and I, I, but I may loosen up a little bit on my, my OCD. One of my partners said to me today, I thought it was hysterical, you know, you're so isolated and protected that you're basically like a newborn. You don't have any antibodies to anything. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny. Um, uh, at the, sa uh, the same time, you know, I probably would be a little bit more, uh, uh, I should say, less cautious. I may take the shield off. I may have a sandwich. Uh, during the day, of course, isolated. Uh, but uh, right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it up, and as long as my face doesn't you know fall apart here, I can keep wearing the mask uh, as many hours a day as possible while I'm in that environment of potential exposure. Uh, so it would give me some mental peace of mind if it was positive, uh, in the sense that I'd cleared the infection. Um, uh, I wouldn't have had uh, you know at this point at least any type of chronic symptom I'm aware of. Uh, you know, sort of made it, if you will, and hopefully some immunity for some time. Again, the question is, is it coming back? Is it coming back mutated? Is it less virulent? As some suggest, if something mutates like a virus like this, 
Uh, in rare cases, they can become more virulent. Virulent. So uh, you know, it's just it's 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 all debatable. But I think you know, I would have plus and minus feelings uh, whether it's a, a been a positive test versus what it is now a negative test. Um, at this point in time, I'm not going to suggest my family get antibody testing. They've been isolated. My wife goes with uh, myself to you know the store every week or two. Uh, we wear masks. We're in and out as quick as possible. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, thank God everybody's asymptomatic. So I guess for now I will continue to super protect uh, the best I can with what I have uh, as far as gear goes and PPE, um, and um, and just keep fighting the battle and keep uh, hoping and praying that uh, this disappears like SARS one and MERS kind of did, and that we don't see a new season. And if we do, uh, we're that much more prepared and ahead of the ball based on our our experiences this year. Um, and uh, we can at least treat it, uh, you know, better uh, and continue to treat it better, just like HIV, even though a totally different virus, again, total different uh, virulence, totally different um, structure uh, and mutations, uh, you know, this type of thing. But nonetheless, as we gain experience, we tend to get better and better and learn things that and study things that uh, could in fact benefit or a cocktail of things together that could benefit. Uh, I still think uh, early antiviral a remdesivir type drug or remdesivir itself uh, where you can get it to the outpatient uh, you, know, you get tested you have a symptom you get tested almost immediately within a day or two and then you're immediately triaged to either an infusion center or a place that can give you the infusion or they figure out a way to get this in a pill form or a, a different antiviral in a pill form a true antiviral um, you know not an antibacterial not an antiparasite or malarial but a true antiviral as this uh, you know analogy uh, to Tammy flu and flu, uh, you know, influenza as I've made before. So uh, to conclude, I am IgG negative. Uh, there's three antibodies at LabCorp's testing for IgG, M, and A. They have different sequences as far as time that you were exposed. Uh, M coming out uh, almost immediately within the first few days. G coming out within that first uh, two weeks. Um, uh, the RNA test, which is the swab test for acute infection how we put those together in regards to getting people back to work and into society. Uh, so will some states not uh, even require it? Uh, is the feds going to stand and make, make it happen? So we'll see what happens over the next couple weeks. Um, I have mixed feelings about being uh, negative, but I would have mixed feelings about being positive. And, um, and I'm going to continue to wear my PPE and the obsessive level, even if uh, I am, in fact, uh, purified, as uh, one of my colleagues suggested. Everybody have a great night. Uh, we'll see you again.